what's up welcome back I'm Cameron and I'm gonna be filming a very highly requested video and that's how to make a thick smoothie bowl so let's go Okay guys, so if you follow me on TikTok, you would know that I make a lot of smoothie bowls. So you guys are commenting a lot that you can't get your smoothie bowls as thick as mine. So I want to give you guys all my tips and tricks and walk you through my smoothie bowl. I want to say most importantly, you do not have to have this blender to make a thick smoothie bowl. This just happens to be the blender that we have. I did not buy it for smoothie bowls. And I see a lot of people making smoothie bowls like with like the bullet blenders. And it honestly works perfectly, so you do not have to have this blender. I'm going to be making two smoothie bowls for you guys. One's my favorite, and one's actually one I've never made before. So we're gonna go through this together. Let's start with my favorite. So the most important thing to having a creamy, thick smoothie bowl is a good base. Some people like to use bananas, and don't get me wrong, I love bananas, but some people don't like bananas. So I do recipes that, that sometimes don't have bananas. And this is my all-time favorite smoothie bowl that I've made, and it's called Dragon Fruit Dream. So for the base, instead of bananas, I use pineapple. So I'm gonna put three cups of frozen pineapple. And if you're using like a bullet blender or a smaller blender, just cut this recipe in half because you don't wanna burn the blender and overwhelm it. Then I'm gonna add two cups of frozen strawberries. And my secret ingredient is this dragon fruit pack. You guys comment a lot on this, on what it is and where I get it. I just get it at Whole Foods. I think I've seen it at Target in the frozen section. So just look at any of your local grocery stores for it. And this is my favorite part. I'm not very good at it, but you just pop it open, pour it in. <laughs> this is always a struggle for me. Make sure you get it all in there because this is the sweet, tasty part. This is the most important part to a thick smoothie bowl. You can't add more than one-fourth a cup of milk. I don't care what milk it is, it can be whatever liquid, you just can't add more than a quarter cup. If you add more than a quarter cup, your smoothie will be runny and it won't be a smoothie bowl, it will be like an actual like smoothie, which you don't want. And this part takes patience. You have to actually like move around it. You can't just add milk whenever it doesn't blend completely. You just have to take it slowly and I'll show you what I mean. Pour it all in. And that's all you're gonna need for this smoothie bowl. So I'm gonna start blending this up and you'll see that I push the fruit down to the bottom and it's not gonna just blend together all the way, right away. You have to stop it and move the fruit around because this is where the patience part comes in. If you want a thick smoothie bowl, you have to be patient when it's blending and the blender can't take in all this fruit at once. The bottom of the blender will get air bubbles in it and so you have to move the fruit around and I'll show you how to do that. So it's blending up very nicely, pushing all the fruit down. It's an arm workout. So the first blend cycle did very well, but you have to see that only the bottom of it really blended, so you have to mix around the frozen fruit so everything gets blended together. And we get all the air bubbles out. So this is why you can't just start the blender in one cycle. You have to restart it and be patient and move the fruit around. So I moved all the fruit around and we're gonna put it on another cycle and I'm gonna blend again. <laughs> So this part was definitely an arm workout, but this is also the part where people lose patience and add more milk, but look how creamy and thick it is. I added no more milk and it's perfect. The only thing left is pouring this in the bowl and enjoying it. Oh, that's perfect. This is my favorite smoothie bowl ever. Guys, I think we nailed it on this one. It 
Obviously my favorite part is eating this. It just hits the spot every time. I'm gonna finish eating this and clean up and let's make a bowl I've never made before. It's Katie approved. For this next bowl, we're gonna try to recreate the nectar acai bowl. Okay, so I used to get nectar acai bowls a lot and they were pretty good. So I'm hoping I can recreate it well and make it as good as nectar. So for the base of this acai bowl, instead of using pineapple, I'm gonna use frozen bananas. I think there's like four frozen bananas in here. So I'm only gonna use two, so I'm gonna pour half of this in here. You guys, I literally just cut up some bananas at night, freeze them overnight, and they're ready in the morning. I get a lot of requests on like my bananas, and that's just how I do it. It's easy and simple. And if you want any of your smoothie bowls to be very creamy, you'll wanna use frozen bananas as the base. I think that's about half, I'm not sure though. So all you'll need is two cups of frozen bananas, one cup of frozen strawberries, and one cup of frozen blueberries. I'm gonna just pour it in the same one because it's getting mixed together anyways. So these frozen bags from Whole Foods always have like two cups in them, so just pour half of them in the smoothie bowl. And one packet of frozen acai. It's literally like the same packet as the dragon fruit, so you wanna work with it the same way. So the way I pour the ingredients into the smoothie bowl is putting the base first, which is the bananas in this case, then the other frozen fruit, which would be the strawberries and blueberries, lastly the packet obviously, and the liquid is all time last, but that's only for this blender. If you're using a different blender, I would recommend adding the liquid first. Like the bowl of blenders, you would have to put the liquid in first. Okay guys, so I have all my ingredients in the blender and I'm hoping I didn't add too much milk. This isn't as much fruit as I normally use, so we'll see. I'm gonna blend this up and be patient and see how this goes. <laughs> Again, let's just move this around so the fruit gets everywhere and we get the air bubbles out. So you guys, we did it. It ended up to be very creamy and thick at the same time. I'm actually obsessed on how this turned out. Let's see how good it tastes though. Okay guys, I'm so excited this turned out how creamy I wanted it to. I'm gonna just add some granola though, just for the taste, okay? Just for the taste. Not bad, not bad. So it's pretty good for being my first time, but dragon fruit's definitely still my favorite. So I hope that cleared up all the questions on how I make my thick smoothie bowl. And just remember, the most important thing is don't keep adding liquid. Don't keep adding liquid. It won't make it thick or creamy. Be patient and just do the arm workout. You could use it anyways. By the way, I'm shocked at how much this bowl is spinning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want me to show more of my smoothie bowls that I make on TikTok. I definitely would want to do a part two. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every time we post. I love you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.